Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I will show you guys 8 tips and tricks to keep your PC clean and healthy and optimize it for gaming and performance. This video includes simple tips and tricks that can help you increase the performance of your PC and also maintain the performance in Windows for gaming. These tips can be applied to any Windows PC so I highly recommend you guys to do these regularly. I don't want to take more of you guys time with long intros but 91.1% of you watching my videos are not subscribed. It's only fair guys that if you are watching the videos then you subscribe as well so make sure to press that subscribe button before you leave so yeah with all of that out of the way let's get this video started so starting off go down into the description of this video and download the Regnetic PC optimization pack I will provide two links in the description just in case the first one doesn't work go to the second link and download the pack from there once the pack is downloaded, right click on it and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one you want. And once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up. The very first tip that I want to give you guys is to do a full disk cleanup. This is going to make sure that all of the junk files are clean from our Windows drive. So just go ahead and double click on the disk cleaner. Go ahead and select your Windows drive, in my case it's C, and then click on OK. Once this dialog box opens up, go ahead and make sure that everything is selected and if you guys do have the option for downloads inside of here, just go ahead and uncheck that if you guys don't want to delete anything from the downloads folder. So just go ahead and uncheck that and then go ahead and click on clean up system files. Then click on ok once again and this dialog box should open up once again. So just make sure that everything is selected once more and just go ahead and uncheck the downloads option if you do have that. Once everything is selected, click on OK, hit delete files and then it is going to go ahead and delete everything that we just selected. Don't worry, it's all temporary and junk files, so yeah, it's completely safe and I highly recommend you guys to do this from time to time. So once the disk cleanup is complete, moving on to our second tip and that is a dust cleanup. Just go ahead and open up this notepad and this is a video by Linus which you can go ahead and watch on YouTube. He shows how to properly clean your PC, this video is actually kind of a joke. But what's not a joke is the dust inside of your PC components. So make sure that you guys regularly, monthly or weekly even, go ahead and remove that dust from your PC. Physical dust can cause a lot of heat issues which in turn will give you guys lower performance and higher temperatures which is always bad for gaming. Then moving on to our third tip and that is to disable the auto windows updates. I highly recommend you guys to disable the auto updates because most of the time when windows decides to auto update, it just adds a lot of junk and bloatware which just reduces the performance of your PC. It's even worse when the windows decides to automatically update while you are gaming causing network issues, high ping issues and even FPS drops. So I have provided you guys this registry file to disable auto updates and just in case that you guys want to enable auto updates again you can go into this default folder and enable the auto updates from there but for the disable auto updates I'm gonna show you guys what it actually does. So what we are basically doing is disabling the defender updates and we are also removing the automatic driver downloads with window update. Then in the auto update section we have disabled the auto updates so by using this file you can go ahead and disable the automatic updates. Just keep in mind that you can still manually update the windows but we are just removing its option to automatically update whenever it wants. Instead we are going to be manually updating whenever we want. So just go ahead and double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Moving on to our fourth tip that is disable the anti-malware service inside of your windows. So if any of you guys have seen this service in your task manager, you guys know that it uses a lot of CPU resources and games such as Fortnite highly depend on CPU. Therefore, if this service is running in the background, it will cause high FPS drops and that's what we are gonna be fixing by disabling this service. Just keep in mind that I have provided the malware bytes setup. So just go ahead and disable this and instead use the malware bytes so that you guys still have security. So inside of the anti-malware reg file, all we have is disable the antivirus spare service and then its control panel, everything that you guys can go ahead and read it from here. We have also disabled all of the notifications related to Windows Defender, so yeah, it doesn't bother you. So just go ahead and open it up, hit yes, hit ok and now you guys need to restart your PC and the Windows Defender should be disabled. Then just go ahead and install the malware bytes and use that. Moving on to our fifth tip and that is to clean the temporary files on Windows Startup. So in order to do that, copy this clean temporary file bad file made by me and then just go ahead and press the windows key and the r key at the same time on your keyboard to open up the run bar once this opens up type in shell then colon and then go ahead and type in startup then press ok and once this opens up go ahead and paste it inside of here this is going to run this file every time your window boots up so it is going to clean the temporary files as for now just right click on it run it as admin press any key to continue and then once again press any key once it's done 
So now every time you boot up your windows, it's going to run that process automatically so you don't have to clean the temporary files yourself anymore. Moving on to our sixth tip and that is to uninstall unnecessary apps. So just go ahead and open it up and then find anything inside of here that you don't use because if you guys have any of the unnecessary apps that you are not using just sitting there, they are not only eating up the storage but also background services that are using them are also eating up the CPU resources. So just go ahead and make sure that you run through this list and uninstall anything that you are not using. Then for our seventh tip that is to disable the startup apps. Go ahead and open it up. And then inside of here just go ahead and make sure that anything that you don't want to start up with your windows is disabled and as you guys can see the file that we just added into startup is here as well so make sure that this is turned on other than that just go ahead and turn off everything except for maybe your mouse software and if you guys play Valorant, then the Vanguard train notification. Other than that, just go ahead and turn everything off. This is not only going to decrease the time of your boot, it's also going to increase the performance of your PC. And the eighth and the final tip is to reinstall your windows. I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and reinstall your windows every four to five months just to keep it refreshed because unlike Linux, Windows loses its performance over time because more and more bloatware is added, unnecessary programs and more and more services are added into the background of Windows gradually, therefore decreasing its performance. So I highly recommend you guys to reinstall Windows whenever you can. Just make sure that you guys don't overdo it and reinstall your Windows every week or every month but I highly recommend you guys to reinstall your windows every four or five months and even six months if you want also pretty soon i will be making a video on how to clean install your windows and then how to optimize it as well so yeah keep a lookout for that as well and then one final bonus tip is to join my discord server the link can be found in the description if you guys need help with anything just go ahead and join the discord server we have a lot of people helping each other there and even if you guys just want to chill out you can go ahead and do it there we have a lot of channels helping members and all that good stuff so make sure to check out the discord server so yeah guys those were 8 tips and tricks to keep your PC healthy and clean and increase the performance of your PC for gaming. If this video helps you guys in any way shape or form be sure to leave a like down below as it takes me a lot of time to put together these videos. Also guys once again 91.1% of you watching my videos are not subscribed so make sure that you guys press the subscribe button before you leave. If you guys will be picking up anything from the Fortnite item shop make sure to use code Regnetic or use anyone else's code it really doesn't matter just make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy. Easy. So yeah guys with that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.